the door was had been open for 40 years and I opened the door and I went, oh no, I was really surprised at how bad it was. And I was up to my knees in rubbish and everything was, I was really disgusted with it. I went, oh no, what's this? But I had a torch and I shone the torch in and floor to ceiling cobweb, just like a horror movie, you know, and they put that fake cobwebs up and all this rubbish and all these animals, things are scattering around everywhere. I thought, oh, what's happening here? But I looked on the bright side and I thought, I wanted something quirky. I wanted something, something completely different. This place originally, it was in the First World War, all I could find out, in the First World War and the Second World War, it was used for munitions because it was the uh, centre of town. I'm surprised it, it lasted in the war because this area around here, just across the way, is a Spitfire manufacturer. They used to do the Spitfire, and I think it was bombed really, well, Southampton was flattened, but on the bridge itself, only one bomb hit the bridge. Well, what I did is, within this, I had friends, got to know friends who were in welding business, ship repair. Just chatting to the lads, I knew what I wanted, and uh, I looked through their scrapyard bit, and I managed to get all these bits off, off the ships. You know, they, they, they cut it down for me, and welded it all up, and uh, it's not, you, you can't go out and buy that. It, it's something that you have to think of and make up yourself. And then I had to get my mates in to do the flooring and, and the electrics. Because I, I tried to do it on the cheap. I didn't want to get a company in because they charge a thousand. So I just wanted to get to try and do it myself. My customers really like it. You wouldn't think so. From looking the outside, it's just a hole in the wall. And then they, they're surprised or were surprised when they come in and think, crikey, you know what I mean? This is different. But I'm still getting new customers now. I've never advertised, so people are still coming in who've never been here before, and they are surprised because you don't see anything like this. It's not you can't repeat this anywhere. It's it's a one-off. You do get a good haircut here. I, I am good at it. I've been doing it for long. I'm praising myself now, but I, I am good at what I do, and I take my time, and I really look after the people that come in. I think that's a big thing where some of the, the other barber shops you get, you in and out, 10 minutes, everybody gets the same haircut and they're out. And that's, it's not very pleasant doing that way. And I think that's what it is. They, they feel confident coming in and they get a good service and a good haircut. I mean, I've always enjoyed it. It's not like going to work. You know, people, I'm, I know lots of people who, who earn lots of money, loads of money, but they hate their job. But I come here and it's like coming into a little little workshop, really. It, you know, your den, that's what I like. It, it, it's your, it's a, a man cave, as they call it. It's a little, it, it's something that's, it's mine, you know, it's nice. And I can do what I want with it. But it's quirky, as I say, it's different.